Hey guys, oh, got watery eyes. I just was um, moving a load of laundry and if you know our washer and dryer, washer problems, sagas, you'll know that we've been trying to keep this dry after each cycle. And I just pulled out the biggest like hairball out of underneath right here. Like it was just kind of in the little trap right there. Oh, I have a really bad gag reflex. So that was so nasty. But Costco is closed today. It's Memorial Day. It's pouring rain. Kids have no school assignments online. So Jason and I are going to the grocery store together. We have zero fruit, right, Abby? Half a gallon of milk left. Grandpa doesn't come with groceries for two days. So we're going to go stock up. Oh, the light's behind me. Hang on. Sorry, I had to kind of get my stuff more ready to go. Jason's doing the laundry for me, folding socks. You wanna say hi? <laughs> Welcome to your day off. Memorial Day. It's our first Memorial Day, not actually going to a barbecue and being with family and friends. Yeah. Anticlimactic at this point. All right, let's go to the store. at grocery stores now is like I don't do it nearly as often if, if not at all because I don't ever want to make people feel like I'm filming them like wearing their masks and I'm a big proponent of wearing it and so I don't want to ever put anyone on the spot for wearing it or not wearing it um I, we have a mandate here that you need to wear it so we just make fun of people behind their back yeah <laughs> off camera no but uh so don't usually these days get out the camera and it's hard now because a lot of places are kind of coming out of their quarantines and they're not requiring a lot more a lot as we still are so it's just kind of I think this is still kind of standard I need to keep doing it going forward but that's just where we're at here in Washington so and if it sounds like I'm still asleep I kind of am and even though it's like 11 30 um I've ever had a dream where like I had a dream last night and it was like stressing me out I couldn't find Chelsea friends had taken her somewhere and then they had passed her off to like pass the kids off to a spouse anyway spouse didn't know that she was with them so they left her at the mall it was like this stressful dream of me trying to find Chelsea and this bird was chirping the entire time and I was so annoyed and then I went to look for a house and this bird was chirping. This is all in the dream, and I'm so stressed. And then I wake up, and the bird is chirping outside my window. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. So I don't even get to wake up from the stressful dream. I still have the bird that's gonna keep me awake. So I didn't sleep very good starting at like five o'clock this morning, so I'm a bit tired, but we will go gather our groceries. We don't go to the grocery store very often. Usually we are such a bulk family now that we have to get everything at Costco, but we're out of like little things that you can't get at Costco. So that guy looks like Obama. I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> you just, I know it's not, it just did, it just, I don't know. So Jason decided to mock me and the fact that he hasn't come to get a large beverage with me for a long time. I said, we haven't done that in a while. And then he drove right past it. Because I didn't know we were serious about it. I thought we were joking. When would I never, when would I not be serious about getting a cold beverage? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then he ordered a smoothie. So now I have to sacrifice my um, free McCafe on my app so that I don't have to pay the three fifty for his the smoothie. Reserve for Porter. I know, I wanted it for my milkshake. But I'll give it to you for your smoothie. Oh, uh, the sacrifices we make for But love. here, you gotta scan this. You gotta give that to her to scan. Yeah, I will. Anything to save a dollar, even for Jason. Hi. All right, there's my dollar for my drink. There's 10 cents in the little door handle. How much is it? There should be 10 cents in there. It's a dollar 20, huh? It's not. Yeah, tax. Oh. Yeah. What was that, honey? I was right on the dollar amount? Okay. Thank you. So on my Fetch app, it says that I can start saving money on restaurant receipts. So I'm gonna try that. Let's see if I, I can. It Is it gonna count? Five points. Yay. I got five points for that drink. That's awesome, love. And now I'm doing my receipt from the grocery store. 
see how much I get from this one. I think I did it wrong. And I got 25 points. Also, in case you're wondering, I haven't done this in a long time. I saved 39%. I saved like 20, what does that say? $26 at the grocery store. I haven't like done like savings at the grocery store for a long time just because I don't go to the grocery store for bulk shopping anymore. I only run in for, you know, maybe five items. So I haven't done the whole, how much did I save? And I can't really do that from Costco because they don't really, you don't really. Don't have a I mean, they, you have stuff. rebates on there, but they don't really say, maybe it does say on the receipt how much you save on rebates, but. But it's not like getting coupons and planning it out and then. Yeah, it. it's a little bit different. Plus I just think that Costco is a savings, at least for what we spend it on. I mean, I had, I bought, 12 oranges and eight corns of co corn on the cob it will be gone by tomorrow night i mean that I, so it's just incredible and the kids are going to eat me out of house at home until september when they go back if they get to go back to school i'm gonna have to like reallocate my whole budget just to feed them yeah i'm planning on not going back yeah that's another conversation can't control it so we're talking about going parasailing if we ever get to Hawaii. I don't know when that's gonna Something actually happen. Something she's always wanted to do. Parasailing cool. is what I want. That's my adventure. That's my like, yes, I would have fun doing, um, what do you call it? Zip lining and, and other things like that, helicopter ride, but they're really expensive. And I wouldn't want to do zip lining without the kids. And, and it would be like $1,000 for us to go zip lining as a family. So that's just kind of out of the question. But parasailing, I don't care if my kids get to go. <laughs> so I, and I mean, I would love this if they got to, but I just can't afford it. But it would be something I would be willing to like, just do myself, but I don't want to do it by myself. I don't want to experience it myself. So I want him to do it with me and we can afford that. He's scared of it. And this is the guy I'm who like, who it. does like, you know, crevasse climbing on Mount Rainier and <laughs> Mount Hood and like, you're not even scared of that at all. I haven't technically done it, but I, it's because I can control it. If I'm ice climbing or whatever, I, I'm i setting all the rigging. I'm setting everything up. Then help them set the rig. I mean, you're well, just putting on a harness and then... I know. I'm just nerve-wracked. All those things where all I do is clip in and right. rely on someone else's stuff. That's why I don't Anyway, I really want a parasail. Right? You guys got to leave a comment below if he needs to get over his little... I'll go Fear with you. Of... We'll just have to write a will and you know, go <laughs> together. All right. Okay, so we're going to get pizza right now. Right, Dad? Yep, we're going to go get uh, what kind of pizza? Little Caesars. We don't get that very often, but we've been kind of craving it. Yes. So we're going to get Little Caesars and some uh, bread or cheesy bread or whatever. Mm, that sounds good. Look behind me So we have our pizza Finally Yeah, what did we get? Some breadsticks and stuff? I think we got breadsticks and then um, pizza so. Alright, let's get it home so we can eat it so Chelsea just handed me the camera and she's like So here's your camera with good footage I've been on the couch taking a nap which was wonderful for probably two hours. It was a much needed nap. And then I've been catching up on some stuff for YouTube, chatting with some of you guys. But Jason and Chelsea just got home with pizza for dinner. Monday night pizza night. I wish I had paper plates so I wouldn't have to do dinner dishes, but. I love Chelsea. Chelsea never knows what day it is. I know, I'm so sorry, Chelsea. We don't know what day it is either. Oh, here, paper plates. Sweet. Wait, I'm so sick of being behind on dishes. Here, paper plates. I never do that, but I am so there sick of dishes. All right, pizza night. Pizza, pizza. I love little teasers. Pizza. I just wish it didn't take us so long to go and get it. I wish it was closer. Yeah. Maybe we should open a franchise. <sighs> I don't do food. <laughs> I will not do a food business. That was my number one when we first started our process. And ironically, our first two things that we were looking at doing was Papa Murphy's and Subway. Well, you were just looking at Subway as a model, right? Mm -hmm. Papa Murphy's was our first one that we looked at. Mm -hmm. And the only open opportunity, franchise opportunity, was actually in Vail, Colorado. 
and at the whopping price of $300,000 for a double wide trailer to live in, we said no thank you. <laughs> Couldn't afford to live there. I'm so, sure my friend used to live there when she was younger. In Colorado? I can't remember though. The only reason why I want to live in Colorado is because my aunt lives there. It would be fun to live near other family, but I'm going to go eat pizza and then play a game with the kids because they've been wanting to play games, but Abby has not wanted to make play games and they only want to play when we have a competition going and Abby is our competition. So anyway, we're going to go and do that and then we'll probably be back. Okay guys. It is 9.30, I just went and got a red box for the teenagers, the boy too. I don't know, Kaylee wants to watch a horror movie. It's not rated R, it's rated PG-13. I don't like to be scared like that. She says it's kind of like the quiet room, or I don't know what it was called. The quiet room, quiet, I forget. But it's not a movie I wanna watch, so. I'm going to let her have the TV down here because I think Jason's going to be working upstairs in his little TV room. And um, I'll just go lay in bed and watch YouTube videos or Netflix. I just started a series, The Magnolia something. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's totally wrong. But something, something else to watch and stream, you know continue to watch but I am done for the day I want my makeup off I want to put my pajamas on and I guess I'll climb into bed I hope you guys have a good day and a good week it's been a blah kind of Memorial Day we don't have anyone in our families that are buried here in Washington State all of our families are buried in Utah both me and Jason's so we don't have a memorial to go and visit and, you know, think about them, but we just do that in our hearts. So it's kind of a ho-hum kind of a memorial day, but we thank everyone who has served and are serving out there. I have a nephew who's going to be serving in the military soon. I um, want to thank them for their service and, you know, even from home doing nothing, we can still remember. So take care and have a good night.